Jim Chalmers is in China right now. I think he's the first treasurer to be, do so, make a, a formal visit in around seven years. We are going to hear from him in the next couple of moments, actually. Um, what kind of message would you expect him to be taking to the Chinese uh, leadership while he's there? And should he, I'm sure he's going to be questioned about this, um, this naval incident, should that be raised? Uh, well, I think uh, transparency in terms of compliance with safety and other uh, regional factors are always important to reinforce. Uh, Jim Chalmers should, of course, be raising Australia's bilateral considerations, trade and economic, as you'd expect a Treasurer to do, uh, but we would expect all senior members of the government to also raise consular concerns and the continued concern for the welfare and need to see um, humane and compassionate treatment shown to Dr Young Hen Jun, uh, as well as the importance for the economy and that the Treasurer can deliver this message of regional and global stability mm. uh, and the role China can play by easing regional tensions, by not undertaking such aggressive military postures in the South China Sea towards the Philippines, uh, by engaging in such aggressive conduct around Taiwan uh, and globally the role China could play if instead of enabling Russia financially or Iran in other ways to be such global disruptors, they actually worked to ensure that those conflicts and that disruption came uh, to an end. And that would be something that China could do that would strengthen the world economy and help China through their current economic challenges. Always good to talk to you, Simon. We'll see you soon.